Hi guys, welcome back to the Matrix of Life channel and today uh, I will be trying to explain you how karma works and how readings working, okay? Because very often uh, facing here like ah oh, you speaking negative energies about future someone uh, I don't know whatsoever means of, of, of whom uh, or you speaking that this is liar and cheater karma have that um, this is unbelievable he's such a good person guys that's why i will be again using an example of parable to show you how these things as karma and tarot readings they work in because there are real real parallels between how these things are working here uh, this is a wonderful parable of, of three men um, trying to figure out what is an elephant. So, a group of blind men heard that a strange animal called an elephant had been brought to the town. Uh, but none of them were aware of its shape or form. Out of curiosity, they said, we must inspect and know it by touch. Uh, of which we're capable of okay so they went for this and when they found uh it uh they um start arguing about it the first person the first blind man whose hand landed on the trunk of the elephant he said this being is like a sick snake for another one whose hand reached his ear he said it seems like a kind of a fan and for another person whose hand was upon its leg, said the elephant is a pillar like a three trunk. So the blind man who placed um, his hand upon uh, its side said that elephant is a wall because he placed on on his side. Another who felt its tail described it as a rope. You see how many opinion about same, same elephant, same animal, same same animal. Uh, the last felt its um, task, of stating the elephant is that which is hard, smooth, and like spear. So, so many different opinions. There's uh, more than three blind men here uh, described in this version. Uh, you can go yourself. This is in Wikipedia. The story is no, very famous. Just Google blind blind man and elephant. But you see, same elephant. They touched this elephant in very different places. And all of them got like contradictory, very contradicting results and start arguing about this. So I'm calling you whatever terror prediction you hearing, you will be always perceiving it, even not through the view of terror reader, but you will be perceiving this through your own sort of karmic vision. And any terror reader, because remember here we were talking about blind man, and whenever we look in on the future or trying to look at the future, we using our third eye and we not lords we not the super creatures who know the entire algorithm because the lord knows it's it's programmed our all um you know it's like huge huge program but where you will be end up huge test it depends on your choices you're making but Lord Universe giving you from what to choose. They set you in conditions. You born in, in some particular country, in some particular family, with some particular parents you was born. So they given these conditions for the beginning of your journey. And then they given you conditions to choose from. To cheat or to stop the pattern, to repeat cheating pattern, to blame other people in, in you being miserable, uh, or to try to find an answer why, what leads you to this place. And so on, so on, so on, so, so many. Uh, it's not like uh, some people, you know, they being misguided, thinking that just everything is, is uh, already uh, written by Lord. Yes, it is, but 
uh, entire your entire matrix program it's already there prepared by lord pre prepared by higher forces but choices yours only yours what to choose but a lot of people uh, they sort of blaming their own choices that their own choices were programmed by lord how they acted in the past they blame him and uh, there was one case i was in accommodation in egypt and there at factory uh one worker like put his hand into a machine and got injured because he needed you know some sort of week vacation to attend the uh, wedding of his uh, someone closest relative but uh, when um, director called this worker to to his office and asked why you knew you knew all the rules that you can put your hand into this machine while it's working why you did and the answer was Allah pre-written this for me so a lot of people have been so ignorant that your bad choices which leads you to this shithole you blaming on lord that lord already set this destiny for you no darling this is only your choice and whose fault uh, a lot of people here coming here and trying to force they uh, and don't let their vision in the comments uh, or any other channel when you know, go you know when when I'm going out and I'm seeing this the sense people fighting for one says only my vision is right, other says only mine is right and you wrong. But remember this is remember elephant every time. You may be touching trunk and as a person with whom you are in, maybe they touching leg. Of this elephant you're talking about the same topic but from different angles different um, different perspectives different everything try to understand and try to understand about your future it's not pre-written like by lord your every choice you have always this choice at, at least basic one yes to say yes or to say no don't blame you saying yes to something negative don't blame it on lord that lord pre-write your destiny it seemed like with princess diana she had choice to stay in this family or divorce he, she have chosen divorce then according to her matrix some shit happened and she re was removed from the matrix but it was her choice you should understand she can't blame like mm, i decided to separate myself and uh like uh apply for divorce because lord dictates me to do so because lord and angels wanted me to ascend there you can't you can't think like this please don't <laughs> don't do this please guys and here's like elephant you come in like oh you ruined this one rich um, a future wife rich or this one is leo this one is blonde hair this one is for this is not a foreign hair guys hold your horses understand maybe i am touching a, p a pillar and you touching a trunk of an elephant and as a reader which whom you have seen at other channel because remember my video in matrix and magic playlist all the readers there are types of readers to understand who is yours you can use this uh video so you will be interacting with the reader who is suitable for you okay and uh, please please guys you should understand this you should really really understand we all channel through different um, uh, channels this information someone connected through third eye chakra someone connected through crown chakra someone just doing this from place of her chakra and very often i'm i'm hearing from people like good terror reader should be good psychologist never say like hurtful things 
uh, to people, uh, always try to soothe. If I will be sitting here and soothing my clients, no one of them will change job, grow, achieve something. They will be comfort. I will be just comforting them in the sheet they sitting right now instead of helping them to get out of the sheet. But again, you should understand during different stages of life, before, for example, before coming to me, uh, my clients, they needed a reader who will be like suzering them, like petting them, you good, your shit is good, keep meditating, it will turn into roses, there is no your, there is no your fault, this may be evil eye. They ate this, this piece of readers, okay? Soothing, good psychologists. It, but to awake someone and say, look what you're doing with your choices. you just daily doing shit. You're making shitty choices in, in your life. This is what we're analyzing. How person behaves. And just recently I, I spoke uh, to one of the clients and even me doing video about this please never do charity from the place of victim and so my client she wanted very much one beautiful shoes which would make her happy she even ordered this she bought it she got it but the next uh, day um, she has seen over internet that uh, some people somewhere need, need help um, with COVID and everything. And what she's doing, she's returning these uh, dream shoes she wanted to the store and sending this amount of money to these people. Do you think that universe next time will send her money? No, because she's sitting, she donated, she knowing she did the right thing. But in her mind, won't you or not, this amount of money will always be the shoes she wanted badly, badly. Universe sent her money for shoes. Because she wanted shoes, she didn't want to, at that moment, she didn't want to send to, this help to people. She wanted the shoes. Universe said, okay, sending you Instead, what she did, and I'm telling like, look, you like mixing um, signals to universe. Now universe reacted to your request, send your money for the shoes, you returning them. Like, do you think your next wish will be fulfilled? And how do you write to do this? I already explained in one of my previous videos how I wanted to help a person badly, but um i know i already exceeded my charity limit for the month but i wanted i send vibe if i had this extra of, of my earnings i would be sharing a part with this woman and the very next day universe sending me this opportunity so instead of sending back the shoes to the store uh she may feel happy, wear the shoes and think about these people and send another request to universe that I want the opportunity to help these people. And the universe would be reacting. But doing this from a place of victim, please never do. And this is what we uh, talking about at coaching, at private consultations. Uh, but uh, readers who soothing other people, she, they would say, yes, you did very good, you did very good, you created such a brilliant karma of Buddha in 10 generations. That's whole, what are you talking about? Like, no, of course, no, guys, never do this from the position of victim because you will be closing your financial channel. You, you, you will be closing, you will be interrupting your connection with universe. Never do this. Even though your intentions is the very best and many more different examples I can share here, cases from private coaching. Sometimes you need to be extra rude to, to, to say present, look how, how much um, you already procrastinating or keep repeating same mistake. 
but again not all people not at all life stages willing to so only those clients whom i can help they come in my way i'm helping them so that's how it works if you come in here and you saying like i don't like this energies i don't like these predictions go choose whom you like simple but no need to produce here hate comments like you liar like this man who were fighting about elephant what is elephant they were fighting one said this is rope and all of you are liars no and tarot readings they working in exactly the same way one reader is touching like a pillar as a reader is touching a tale of future event so please no no need to um, to do all these ugly things and um even if i'm saying here something not very pleasant not a sweet candy uh again this meant for something okay and first of all i believe for what uh, this meant for you to learn how to respect other people's opinion and instead of losing your energy wasting your energy in meaningless fights about elephant's leg or elephant's tail or elephant's trunk proving that only your vision is right only your touch is right you will be investing this energy into, for example, taking care of this elephant, washing him, feeding him, and so on, so on, so on, or investing this energy into your life, instead of doing all this uh, ugly stuff. So that's a task for today to understand how terror readings working and how karma is working because um, some of you come and you seeing me like not a great person some of you come and you see me like great person uh, who am i bad or good person for those people who seen me good i am a good person for those people who seen me bad, i'm a bad person but me is always me and of course any of us prefer to connect with those people uh, who seen them good and that's why those of you don't like okay bye bye no problem but no need to go and drop your hate okay because so so many more wonderful people out there whom you uh, can enjoy so why are you preventing other people who for example enjoyed my energies from being here what is triggering you so you should ask yourself so what is triggering me to stop by and drop my shade like what's triggering what's my concern in this that's it very 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 simple and instead go and connect with like-minded people through your channel so through the channel of other person you like you're more than welcome and again again i'm telling you I am seeing at this moment of time, I'm seeing this or as a celebrity this way. Uh, I shared my story, how I was so excited about one of local bands here. And later when I, when I got to the concert, I fell out of love with them. So happened to all of us, I think, uh, during our life. It's a part of a journey. We're growing up, our music tastes, they, they changing over time. Everything is changing over time. Uh, it would be very sick if anything would be changing, you know, if everything will be uh, standing still. And our task here, uh, what we're learning at this channel, we're learning to adapt to changes, to navigate changes without fear. Uh, we're learning to benefit from changes here. And we're learning as well to accept other people's opinions here like i i see the celebrity with my cards this or that way i don't have hate uh, towards them for what i would be hating them uh, they didn't do anything bad to me and i don't know them i never spoke to them what i can do i can channel energies and again remember when we are making any public readings on celebrities or famous people like politicians and so on we mostly channeling not on them directly but egregor 
And into this egregor might mix other energies like they followers, they supporters, they haters, they everything. So, but if of course if person coming straight forward to consultation, granting me permission to work with him or her energies, I I will be channeling straight forward for this person. But when we dealing with public readings, we always dealing with egregor energies, and I don't know how much ignorant need to be uh, to not understand this i'm not sure that even many readers out there understand this with what they deal in when they channel in on a public figure for public reading for for many people you channel first of all on on uh, 80 percent of the egregor what is there at the moment so I'm not pretending to be a George. I'm not pretending to be Lord. I am telling you, I'm channeling this part. Maybe I'm touching the leg. Maybe I'm touching um, the trunk whatsoever when I'm channeling. And as a reader who is speaking very great things about them, would I go and say her, look, you mistaken, he's an asshole and you're like... No, because I understand how these things are working. She might be channeling from the other side, since which are revealing to her. And again, because of specific of my work, because I'm working mostly um, with uh, people who need to overcome the negative character traits to improve their lives. Something negative which prevents them from success. My focus of attention, what I'm screening the best, of course, this will be these points. I am here not to pat you on the shoulder, my darlings. I am here to uh, teach you how to be honest with yourself, first of all. And I'm trying to teach you with my own example sharing with you very intimate moments and thoughts from my own life so please understand this okay i hope guys and if you see any hater stopping by here instead of engaging into conversation with them protecting me or, or something shutting them up uh, believe me I, I will remove haters uh, comments and so on but instead of engaging into all this stupid um, arguing just send them link for this video that's done because a lot of people, you know, so, so ignorant in, in these topics and, and they see. And again, you seeing through your own projection. For example, here was a girl stopping by and telling like, blah, 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 blah. How can you speak so uh, negative things and blah, 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 blah. Uh, because this woman, ah, she wrote as well that all, all terror channels should be uh, removed. Like this inquisition vibe, you know. Uh, they should be all removed and never exist. And uh, she's doing projection of what? Definitely, I'm sensing energy, matrix energy number five, this person have in minus. And such people, they always consider in themselves a right hand of the Lord on earth and that they only vision and opinion matters and this only right. So, and they think themselves as a right to go and, and teach someone and... Um, you know, point on something, okay. Uh, but as well, what I am seeing when I'm looking at her and, and her comments, I am seeing a person um, whom triggered, whom was triggered by words, cheater, liar, narcissist, that's definitely, uh, was triggered uh, by a cheating topic. This topic is very painful for this person. So she may let her and her hair just um, let her and her out at my channel because it was so triggering for her. Maybe she was in similar situation when she uh, was accused in cheating um, uh, with no proof, with, with no belief when people didn't believe her. Maybe she experienced this and she's projecting this experience here and trying to protect person uh, who she sees maybe in up to her mind in similar situation. 
So, of course, this is made, such comments, they always made from place of pain and anger here. Um, just I'm recommending you track your own inner dragons where you want to stop by and, and comment. I'm usually, I'm not going to other people's channels and not live on such comments, but as well, I'm a live person, I'm a live human being, and there are topics which are very triggering for me at time. And I'm sharing as well what triggered me, where I, I was like, it was difficult, you know, not to comment something, not to object on something not not to like blame someone of course it, it all happening to me and if i'm not going and not uh doing this on celebrity topics i'm doing this maybe on other topics which are related to uh, motherland to heroism and everything uh but these people reacting to to this topic of cheating of celebrities that's her triggers simple Everything is so simple here, so please understand this and react properly <laughs> and seeing something you don't like, no, you always have power to change it by making right choices. And how you will be making right choices? By looking back at your past and uh, being able to see what triggered you to make a wrong choice. Okay, so here starts the transformation, here starts the healing, uh, healing, and remember, please always remember the story about elephant and wise men around this elephant trying to figure out what the elephant is, what it looks like. Everyone was searching very different things, and uh, I already gave an example of, like, for... One of my very close friends there was given prediction like, you're gonna get married to uh, a materialistic, um, atheist person. And as the reader gave predictions, like three different readings said, you're gonna marry a cheerful guy, funny one who will be a journalist, but he will be extremely poor. And another reader gave a confirmation, like, um, gave reading, like, you will be getting married a future husband with whom you will be having a business together and you will grow spiritually together. Who was wrong? Who was right? Uh, how future showed, I'm always telling you, I keep repeating you, uh, and I want to make it like a merge here. Time will tell. Time will tell. And what had happened? She got married first marriage to, to as predicted, to very materialistic down to earth man. Because back at that time, that was her focus. She needed to survive. All her focus was materialistic. And her husband was her projection. So if we channel in some bitchy vibe on future wife of someone you should understand this emanations coming from egregor of this person and uh, next she divorced of course she wasn't happy she divorced and now she's meeting this very very poor and funny uh journalist and, and getting married him but of course in her mind like uh, oh my god uh, this probably i will be marrying and then divorcing and marrying again but no they start growing together spiritually he gave up journalistic uh journalism and um they become trainers of spiritual growth and start earning really really good money because they help in so many people so money start coming their way and uh who was right who was wrong uh, which uh, terror reader lied one just was touching trunk looking closer in the future other was looking a bit far in the future and so on so on but they all were touching sort of same element, same elephant. Uh, so for all the people who um, dissatisfied with predictions, who trying to, you know, get straight forward answer from universe, just 
calm down, calm down, guys, and stop watch readings. You will not benefit from them. This is not for you. This is for those people who truly really understand this principle of wise man and uh, wise um, blind man and an elephant. I hope I coped with explanations and I, I, I truly hope it's gonna benefit you guys mm, and I really hope it was joy to watch. I will be waiting to connect with you in the comments below. Bye!